In the last presentation, we calculated the Fourier transform of DC value and now in this presentation, we will obtain the Fourier transform of impulse signal. So we are having the time domain signal XT and XT is equal to delta T, the unit impulse signal and we are interested in finding out the Fourier transform of delta T. So we will use the formula of Fourier transform it is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity xt multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt xt is equal to delta t so we have integration minus infinity to infinity unit impulse signal delta t multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt i can write delta t as delta t minus zero so we will write delta t minus 0 multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt and if you remember the impulse signal discussions we have seen one very important property if there is impulse signal delta t minus t naught and there is one signal x t1 multiplied to delta t minus t naught then the result is equal to x t naught multiplied to delta t minus t naught. This t1 here is replaced by t naught. We will do the same thing here also. t naught is equal to 0. So this 0 will replace this t here. So in next step we have integration minus infinity to infinity delta t multiplied to e power minus j omega multiplied to 0. This will give us e power 0 and e power 0 is equal to 1. So finally we are having integration minus infinity to infinity delta t dt. This means our Fourier transform x omega will be equal to the area under the unit impulse signal from t equal to minus infinity to infinity. And we know unit impulse signal will have the waveform like this the area is equal to 1 when t is equal to 0 so when we integrate from minus infinity to infinity it is obvious that this point will be included this means the result of integration which is the area of unit impulse signal is always going to be 1 so we will have the Fourier transform equal to 1 so remember the Fourier transform of unit impulse signal it is equal to 1. So this is all for this lecture. It is very easy to calculate the Fourier transform of unit impulse signal delta t and in the next presentation we will calculate the Fourier transform of exponential signals.